Leading Ladies, a Zambian podcast on historical women leaders. The assumption is that in our past, women have never challenged political injustice. History proves that women have been formidable political opponents where there was a case of injustice. The proof lies within Temba, 19th century eastern province, the power broker. In the mid-1800s, the members of the royal family under the sub-branch of the Chewa were Mwase Kuminga, the chief, his younger brother Mwanya, and their sister Ntemba. Ntemba was the second lady in the kingdom and regarded as a chieftainess in her own right. Ntemba lived at Chibande, the capital of Mwase's kingdom, which lies across the Luangwa River near the Muchinga escarpment. After the mysterious death of their youngest brother Mwanya, hostility between Mwase Kuminga and Temba became an open breach and the two became political adversaries. The hostility between brother and sister boiled over into a civil war. The civil war dragged on with no end in sight and the people became dissatisfied. Temba sought to restore the good relations between the people and the ruling family and ensure peaceful rule was returned. She needed to figure out a plan. Kambwili, a trader of the Ngona clan, under chief copper of the Visa, frequently passed through Chewa country. He was known for his military and combat abilities. Temba turned Kambwili into her ally to fight her brother. On the appointed day, Kambwili and his visa warriors launched their attack. It was a successful coup. Ntemba took the throne. Ntemba held the Visa Chewa coalition together for a long time. On her deathbed, she requested that her daughter Chidote succeed her. Chidote settled on the banks of Lukusizi River. Over time, the group eventually dispersed and disappeared. Women have been formidable political opponents. Yeah.